have already talked about verbs of incomplete predication and that they need a complement to complete the predicate so as to make a meaningful sentence. So complement completes the predicate so as to have a meaningful sentence. My favorite sport is basketball. Now in this sentence what is the subject? My favorite sport and the predicate is basketball has the intransitive verb is. We also know that any word or group of words which come after the be verb is the complement in a sentence. So here my favorite sport is basketball. Basketball is the complement. It is completing the predicate because if we just say my favorite sport is, the sentence is not a meaningful one. So basketball is completing the meaning of the sentence. So it is the complement. Now this complement gives us more information about the subject. What is the subject? My favorite sport. So it is telling us what my favorite sport is? Basketball. So this complement is known as a subject complement. Now in this sentence, my favorite sport is basketball. Basketball is a noun. It is a naming word. Hence we can say that a subject complement can be a noun. It is me. Now in this sentence, it is the subject is means the predicate which has the intransitive verb is me is a complement and it is talking more and it is telling us more about the subject it it is me so me here is a subject complement now this subject complement we can see is a pronoun so a subject complement can also be a pronoun the lemonade is refreshing. Our subject here is the lemonade. The predicate is, is refreshing. Now this predicate has the intransitive verb is followed by the complement refreshing. Now what is refreshing? The lemonade is refreshing. So this complement is telling us more about the subject, the lemonade. So refreshing is the subject complement. And we know that it is an adjective here. So we can say that a subject complement can be an adjective. Your shoes are there. What is the subject here? Your shoes are there is the predicate. And this predicate has the intransitive verb are followed by the complement there. What are there? Your shoes are there. So this complement is giving us more information about the subject. Hence this is a subject complement. And we know that there is an adverb. Hence we can say that a subject complement can be an adverb. The primary objective is to practice. So what is the subject here? The primary objective is to practice is the predicate. Now this predicate has the intransitive verb is followed by the complement to practice. Now what is the primary objective? To practice. So to practice is the complement which is telling us more about the subject. Hence the subject complement to practice is an infinitive here. So we can say that a subject complement can be an infinitive also. My favorite pastime is cooking. Now what is the subject in this sentence? My favorite pastime is cooking is the predicate here which has the intransitive verb is and cooking as the complement. Now this complement is telling us more about my favorite pastime which is the subject. So cooking is the subject complement. And we can see that it is the ing verb form which acts as a noun. Hence, 
it is a gerund. So we can say that a subject complement can be a gerund too. The forgotten palace is a heap of ruins. What is the subject here? The forgotten palace, our predicate is, is a heap of ruins. Now this predicate has the intransitive verb is followed by a group of words, a heap of ruins. Now this group of words is a complement which is telling us more about the subject, the forgotten palace. So this complement is a subject complement and we can see that it is a phrase. So subject complements can also be a phrase. Let us quickly do this exercise. Identify the subject complement. The mango tree in my backyard is enormous. Now what is the subject in this sentence? The mango tree in my backyard. What is the predicate? Is enormous. So what is the complement here? Enormous. Now what is enormous? The mango tree in my backyard is enormous. So this complement is the subject complement because it is telling us more about the subject. So what did we learn today? Today we have learned that the complement of an intransitive verb always describes the subject. Hence, it is known as the subject complement. A subject complement can be a noun or a pronoun or an adjective or an adverb. It can also be a phrase or an infinitive or a gerund. So now that you have learned about complements and subject complements in great detail, I hope you can easily identify them in a sentence. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5,000 amazing lectures across maths, science, English and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests, performance analysis with actionable feedback, personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches, and many more, along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So learning at Delta Step is not just fun and easy, it is also rewarding. So register for free now.